Do you guys want to see how Gregory Iron overcomes cerebral palsy, the limited use of his hand, and how he claps? Yeah. You guys want to see how he does it? Greg, would you want to? Yeah, I, I, I just got to warm up. I, all right, well, stretch out. Don't pull the muscle. I say, I say we give Greg a little encouragement. How about a little drum roll? A little drum roll. And I count the three. Gregory Iron, the cerebral palsy assassin, is going to show us how he claps with one hand. One, two, three! <laughs> That's awesome! Greg did a great job this morning. Uh, we normally have a pretty boring, mundane start of the school year, and they brought in a great message of overcoming obstacles and always believing in yourself and you can do whatever you want to do and uh, related to the kids very well. If you guys take one thing away from this today, I want you guys to know something. That drugs are not good. No matter what people say, they hurt people. Not just my mom who died because of it, but it hurt her family. It hurts me to this day. Even though we weren't close, I cried. I cried a lot. I didn't cry because of the person that I lost. I cried for the person she could have been. The drugs over took her life. They consumed me. Awesome presentation. All the kids were really excited about what they had to share. Um, just showing that you can overcome anything. In every class I asked, um, that was really what they took out of it, is that even if you're not a professional wrestling fan, um, it was just an example of what can happen if you really follow your dreams and don't let anybody hold you back or any issue you might have uh, stop you from chasing the things that you want to do. The connection that we had here was number one the bullying aspect which is huge in any any middle school high school elementary it doesn't matter where um, but also the connection that um, empowering yourself which is something that we have gone through and and worked through the past couple of years as well um, we have some behavior intervention groups where students are dealing with um, uh, things such as as parents who are on drugs or have been on drugs um, parents who are out of the home um, parents who are, are in jail at this time or, or have been in jail and vice versa. Um, so I, I think this is probably going to really hit home with a number of those kids that those types of things happen in your life and what are you going to do about it? Are you going to continue to let it, allow, it, allow it to affect you or are you going to step up and do something um, on your own and, and keep going? So the empowerment part of uh, Things, bad things in your life happen to you, and, and that's part of life, but we don't let that stop us. My hope is that we can tie this in throughout the school year. Um, as, as we go through and work with different groups or different kids and, and bring this up in our announcements and continue to go through, um, continue to revert back to this and, and talk about these guys and their adversities in life, um, not only their physical adversities, but also um, what else has happened in their lives to, to bring them to this point and the fact that they didn't give up and they didn't stop. And I think you guys are staring at us not because I'm a one lady freak or because Greg has cerebral palsy or because I'm a professional wrestler. I think you're staring at us because we represent something. 
We represent what could happen if you never, ever, ever give up. If you define who you are and you take your shot, you can achieve anything you want to in this life. The last thing you want to do in life, guys, is quit five minutes before the miracle happens. Do not quit five minutes before the miracle happens, because it happens for us, it can happen for you. You know, Quincy School has a little quote that they're going by this year. I'd like to show you guys that real quick. If you can imagine it, you can achieve it. If you can dream it, you can become it. And I'd like to think today that through our stories, we're living proof that if you do dream it, you can become it. Anything is impossible no matter what people say. And to end this, I want to leave you guys with something that CM Punk told me in that video. It's very important. Don't let anyone tell you that you can't be whatever it is that you want to be. Thank you guys for your time. We appreciate it very much. Have a great year, Quincy. Thank you, guys.